Hey, hello, welcome to the show. It's me, JP. We're here for JP's product pick of the week. Thanks so much for stopping by. We have people in our chats. Where are our chats, you may ask? Well, check out YouTube. We've got a YouTube chat, and over there is Dave Odessa. Hello, and thanks for stopping by. And then uh, check out our Discord, because that is our main chat. And if you are somewhere like Facebook and you're wondering where the chat is happening, go to adafru.it slash Discord and look for the live broadcast chat channel. It looks like that. That's the one right there. And you can immediately join just by going to that adafruit.it slash discord link, jump on in and, uh, and hang out. Uh, let's see, what else is going on here? We've got a very cool new product in the store. It's the one I'm going to show today. We're going to do a little demo. You're going to get a big discount on it just by heading to that URL right there. So go ahead and check out. It is product ID 5912, 59. One, two. If you go there, either that URL or to that QR code, you'll be on the product page, and this show is being broadcast live from within the product page, uh, and it is half off. You don't need to use any coupon codes, solve any puzzles, do any tricks, just simply buy it at the price that it's at during this show. So you can get a maximum of 10, no resellers allowed, but while they last, you can grab these for half off, it's just as easy as throwing it in your cart and checking out, uh, and the, the discount is automatically applied. But before I say any more, before I give you any more details about this, let's jump back just a little bit to the new, new, new segment that Lamore did on Ask an Engineer. Take it away, Lamore. Trinkies! Trinkies! Okay, I got a lot of SAMD21 E18s, and so we're going to see a bunch of Trinkies coming out. Uh, this is the first one. This is uh, by request. Two versions of kind of the same Trinkie. Um, it's got the SAMD21 power supply, a little NeoPixel, a reset button, and then an SHT41, or on this one, we have an SHT45. This is basically, it's, well, sorry, not basically. They are completely code compatible. In fact, your code can't tell which one you've got. The SHT41, I think, is like 1.8% uh, humidity precision, and the SHT45 is 1%. So a little bit higher quality. Uh, some people really want you know, the, the extra precision that you get with the SHT45. Either way, uh, when you plug it in, um, this is an Arduino and CircuitPython compatible microcontroller board. You plug it in and immediately start spitting out the temperature and humidity data, which you can then cool. use to plot or to graph. I need it for down. On AFRIO, or you can, um, you know, pipe that data into Excel, or you can log it with Python, or you can use it in Visual Basic, whatever. You just basically get uh, the data coming out of USB um, is a, a comma separated value file. There's also a touch sensor on the end, uh, that, little, that gold area. If you touch it, it's a sensor, so you can use that as a secondary input. Um, if you want, there's a little keychain slot if you want to tie it to something. Um, and it's just meant to be a very inexpensive way to just get precision temperature and humidity data into your computer. And you don't have to do any coding or soldering or wiring because it's just like plug and play ready to go. Um, so we'll do a couple of projects with this, but I think there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I just want to get temperature and humidity data. And then, of course, if you want it to be further away than your computer, just use a USB-A extension cable, which we have in stock with yeah. those three meter ones. Um, and then you can put this anywhere you like and measure the temperature and humidity that way. Yes, indeed, that is it right there. Look, uh, here's here it is in the overhead. Little, little baby Trinky, the return of the Trinky. We haven't had new ones of these for a while, and uh, that little chip right there is the reason that's MD21 is the one we like to use on those. Uh, and that right there, that's the product pick of the week this week. It is the SHT41 Temperature and Humidity Trinky. So a Trinky is like a USB key or a USB thumb drive sort of thing. It just fits right into a USB port on your computer. Uh, and this one can run CircuitPython. It can run Arduino. It has, uh, as you'll see there, there's a little uh, carved out slot. I'll show that in the overhead in a second. Uh, to thermally isolate the SHT41 so that it can do its temperature and humidity uh, things unperturbed by the actual heat of the board. You'll notice on the end there, that's a little capacitive touch strip so you can just touch that to enter things to use that for user input there's also a neopixel built right on there this can also be used for things like hid midi so if you want to build some sort of experimental humidity based midi synthesizer interface 
maybe this is the one you want. You'll just plug it in and go. It can store a little bit of code on there, easy to iterate on. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look, before we go into a demo, let's take a look at the site right there. So product 5912, it is half off. It is $5.48, it's a real bargain. Uh, and if you take a little scroll down here, you'll see we've got uh, a bit of uh, stats here on it. So relative humidity accuracy is 1.8%. Temperature accuracy plus or minus 0.2 degrees Celsius on this one. Uh, and then uh, a little bit of more info on there. If you click right here, you'll see we've got the primary guide that Liz wrote. This actually covers both the, the SHD 41 and 45. Uh, so if you see one or the other in the photos, don't worry, all the code applies the same. Uh, really just the difference is that precision level on the 45 is a little higher. Uh, and if you take a look here, we've got the pinouts, which are fairly minimal on it, but sure enough, there's the, there's the little pinout diagram for what we've got on there, which pins you'll find things like the touch sensor, I2C, NeoPixel. Uh, and then we've got installation instructions for CircuitPython. We have Circuit Python Essentials code here. That's the, the code I'll use in my demo, and this shows you a couple of ways that you can grab that data and display it on your serial port. Uh, there's also an example here of logging the data using CPython on your desktop. So we have, thanks to Blinka, the ability to use uh, desktop computer scripts in Python to read the data coming off of the chip, and then you can do things like publish that to Adafruit IO, which is really neat. Uh, and then uh, here's the little little uh, bit on that on the guide there. Uh, and let's uh, jump into a little demo I put together uh, just using that code. So here you can see I've got my Trinky. And as Lady Ada mentioned, one really convenient way to use these is with a USB A extension cable. So that just gives us a USB A port right there, and uh, instead of reaching around to the back of the computer in this case, which is also gonna give me some of the computer's heat coming out of the fans and vents, uh, this allows me to place that pretty much anywhere I want as a, a quick, easy monitoring solution. And you can see here, this just slides right in. And that's a thick enough board that it actually stays in there quite nicely. I think we've got a, maybe a two millimeter rather than a 1.7 millimeter PCB. It's a thicker PCB, it works, uh, works quite well, just jamming it into the port there. Uh, and now you can see this is up and running. If I go over to my uh, serial output here, you can see every two seconds I have it logging the temperature in both uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. So it's about 78 degrees in here right now. And uh, humidity is at about 29%. I can probably skew that a bit either by uh, just touching the, the sensor. That'll probably warm it up a bit, possibly. Oh, it's cooling it. I'm cooler than <laughs> I'm cooler than the air. Uh, you can see the humidity jumped up there just because of some perspiration on my finger. Uh, or if I blow on it, so if we give it a little warm, hot breath there, we got it up to 83 degrees and about 80 percent humidity. Uh, so you can see that it's working. And then if you also uh, do things like code it to use the touch sensor or the NeoPixel, you'll see those uh, running on there. Uh, so to, to use this in code, it's really simple. In CircuitPython, I'm just impl importing this Adafruit SHT4X library. I'm setting up I2C. I am creating the SHT object on I2C. And then the mode can be set, in this case, to uh, the no heat compensation high precision mode. Uh, and then we are printing out uh, the uh, info about the... Uh, board when we first plug it in. Uh, you can also then in your main loop go and grab the temperature and humidity off the board simply by saying sht.measurements and that'll feed those two variables. Uh, and then I'm also setting up another variable here that's running a little um, equation to convert the Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then I'm simply printing out those variables here uh, including the relative humidity and then every two seconds we take a look at that again. Uh, so, yeah, some nice says pretty low humidity. It is, it is Southern California. It is dry here uh, most of the time. So, yeah, you have to be careful about static electricity. That's a, that's a good point. Um, let's see. Uh, DJ Devin 3 over in our Discord says they have a nice snippet for a temperature adjusting algorithm useful for onboard temperature sensors. Uh, most sensors in the low humidity environment don't 
require adjustment, but if you're in a humid climate, you can use an adjustment that deals with the humidity. And I think we may have an example uh, in the library example code that shows uh, a, a way to use that uh, compensation as well. But if not, check out over in the Discord uh, this link right here from DJ Devon 3 Thanks for sharing that. Um, all right, so let's see. What else is there to say about it? Uh, here's some pretty pictures of it. You can see front and back. Uh, there's the little carve-out for the chip itself that I mentioned. And uh, not much to it. Uh, we've got 3 volt uh, coming off of uh, the um, voltage regulator, so 5 volt from USB, then 3 volts goes to the chip. Uh, and you've got a nice reset button on there you can use. Double-click that to go into bootloader mode if you need to flash it. Uh, otherwise, once you're running CircuitPython, you can just update it uh, in real time by saving your code.py file to the drive. Uh, this shows up as a little hard drive. And then on the bottom side, you can see there are some programming pins if you uh, need to do some more advanced programming of the, uh, of the SAMD21 chip and you want to use some little pogo pins or solder to that, you can use those at the bottom. But those are mostly for testing and, and programming the chips uh, at the factory. Uh, and that is it. That is the board. Nice and easy. You can see there's also a little slot on there that you can, uh, little slot on there you can use to attach a little string, a little lanyard if you want to have it on your wrist, on a keychain, on a necklace, a nice uh, trinket earring, whatever you like. Uh, let's see. Let me know if there are any questions in the chats. I will say hello to Pixel Tortle and Yama School and Kelly Horn over on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and over on our, our uh, Discord, we've been joined now by, uh, who else here? Mike P, DJ Devon 3, Todd Bot, uh, C. Grover, uh, Liz, Blitz City DIY, Mike P again. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for joining. Some nice. Um, what else? Any other questions about this? These are, uh, these are neat. These are convenient. These are really popular um, chips for measuring temperature and humidity. If you take a look at our uh, main site here out of the way. In the download section of the learn guide, you will see we've got a uh, data sheet link here for uh, the, the chip itself for the temperature and humidity sensor. Um, and I'll give you all of the details on that if you need uh, more of the characteristics of it, operating temperatures, those sorts of things, you'll find them in there. Um, the, uh, the question here, this is a good one from Mike P. Could you use a USB-A socket to type C plug adapter or similar to plug it into your phone? Uh, I actually have a, um, this is one of these sort of on-the-go cables for an iPhone or, or iPad lightning connector. It has USB on that end. Uh, so it is possible if you have a serial terminal in this case, you could probably plug this in and see, uh, see the data coming over there. I don't think it's a very high power uh, board so it shouldn't anger the uh, the device um, so that's a that's a good question uh, yeah you can probably use various adapters to plug that into mobile devices as well uh, let's see anything else I think that'll cover it so uh, let's grab that out of there and we'll finish this up don't forget to head here if you want to go pick up one or five or ten of these at the uh, half-off price. And that is my product pick of the week this week. It is the SHT41 Temperature and Humidity Trinky. All right, for Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been JP's product pick of the week, and I will see you soon. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. Bye.